I'm here today to celebrate this wonderful series that I think is so important, this wonderful screening series, because not only does it bring people together, but it reminds us of the trailblazers that made it possible for many of the young people to be able to do what they do today. When Barbara Streisand did this movie, Yentl, it was, it was unheard of that a woman would do this kind of a film, and she was told from every corner of the globe that it could not be done. And she proved them wrong and not only was it done it was a brilliant movie made a lot of money so that validated her more than anything I starred in the bucket list with Morgan Freeman and Jack Nicholson I played Morgan Freeman's wife so that was just a glorious moment for me to be able to work with two film legends it was my second time working with Morgan in a film we starred together in lean on me a thousand years ago so it was really nice to be updated and star in another movie with him and I have another film coming out called hope and redemption the Lena Baker story. It stars Tashina Arnold and myself, Peter Coyote, and uh, Michael Roker. And it's this true story of the only woman who was executed by electric chair in the state of Georgia for killing a white man in self-defense. Sixty years later, Georgia exonerated her. They gave her a full pardon. Of course, it didn't help Lena Baker, but her family at least had the uh, knowledge of knowing that their mother was exonerated. Uh, Tashina Arnold plays Lena Baker, and I play her mother. And her mother leapt into me. It's the first time I've done a movie where the character leapt into me and did not leave until the director said cut. So it was like she wanted to live again through me and it was a wonderful experience. Shot entirely in the state of Georgia, rural Georgia, where you still have farmlands and cotton fields so it was a perfect backdrop for this movie. I'm very glad that uh, Karen, that Kat Kramer has decided to do this series because it's important and it keeps not only history alive but it keeps people who are still here involved with each other.